Welcome everybody to Vampire Survivors, a wave survival roguelike, I think is the best way to describe this. Uh, we'll get into this later. Um, again, I'm still kind of fighting uh, Microsoft on getting my Minecraft account back. But in the meantime, you know, um, I, did post, I did post a little while ago that, you know, there's no more Minecraft and the outpouring of support from you guys was awesome. And the game selections were also awesome. I believe uh, Tanner... Lovin, <laughs> Tanner Lovin, suggested this game, so I saw it was two ninety nine on Steam. I bought it, and I'm addicted. So I figure, let's do a couple rounds of this. I, I've already unlocked all the characters, and you know this guy, I, I really like him. Like he's a pretty good character. So I figure, let's let's start let's start around here. And let's just turn the music down just a just a touch. So basically, there's enemies coming at you. And you gotta murder them. Simple as that. All right. Just need to turn the music down just to here just a little bit. And you know, despite that simple premise, I am pretty much hooked to it. But you'll see these little uh, torches all around too, and you know, you'll want to grab those. Oh, damn! Already leveled up. Um, yeah, grabbing the garlic. So the garlic pretty much means I'm not going to have to move from this spot. I can just gain XP from the bats. They're low enough level. They can't actually get in range of my uh, garlic AOE. I would assume I just have bad breath or something, and that's what's going on. So I can just stand here, run into them, get levels, and survive. That's ultimately the, the extent of this game. Now, as we get late, as we get further along into the game, there'll be more and more shit flying at us or walking towards us. Not necessarily just bats. Ooh, I want to grab this little campfire in here, too. Oh, looks like I got some money. So money you can use for unlocks later. Okay. Um, cross aims at the nearest enemy. Has a boomerang effect. The rune tracer I don't like, but... Garlic level 2 is pretty good. Now I really can just kind of stand here and do nothing for, like, the first 60 seconds. <laughs> it's hilarious. Ooh, you see that uh, glowy bat? right there he's like a special enemy when i if you can he's got a larger health pool than the normal enemies but if you can kill him he drops like a chest and that chest will have upgrades and money in it he actually didn't drop a chest that time he dropped a like a super a super uh xp crystal or whatever you want to call it the king bible is actually pretty good it'll enable me to just stand here and do nothing even harder look at that oh it's so good so I find that the best strategy in this game is to just wander around, find those torches, and uh, break them. And, and that's it. God, my garlic breath must be very, very potent. And that's the extent of this game. And, and now I've, you know, as I've... Ooh. Um, chance to freeze enemies in time. I haven't done that one yet. I'm going to try this one. I haven't used this upgrade yet. I, I think I just unlocked it. Oh, is it a projectile that shoots out? Oh, it is. I don't know if that's good or not. Ooh, bat swarm. Oh, another bat swarm. Get back here. Oops, a lot of bat swarms. Holy crap. Um, ooh. Move speed is really good in this game. Because, you know, there's waves of just all kinds of stuff coming at you. It's really good to be able to run away from them, circle around them, deal lots of damage. I really want to get more garlic upgrades, believe it or not. So there's, there's four different characters. And this one is so far my favorite. Um... Let's do spinach so that I just deal more, just generally deal more damage. I think that's how that effect works. So obviously right now the enemies are pretty easy and with the with the garlic breath, you know, I'm actually at a, is very good in the early game. And even in the late game, if enemies die before they can get to you, they can't deal damage to you. And so far I haven't had to dodge any projectiles. I don't know if that's gonna be the case for the whole um, more damage. 
I don't know if that's going to be the case for the whole game, where I won't have to worry about enemies uh, projectiling toward me. I have, I've never gotten very far. I've gotten, I think the longest I've lasted is like 10 minutes. Oh, come on, kill that bat. Kill that bat. Get ahead of, there we go. I just wail on him. Oh, took a little damage there, but not to worry. There we go, a treasure chest. So this will give you like a random upgrade and a bunch of money. And money is used for your uh, meta progress. Oh, hey, an upgrade to my uh, little freezy wand. Let's see what the upgrade. So the level two, the effect will just last a second longer. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. That's a, just a big pile of money. Base damage? Sure. Base damage go brrr. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, look at that freezing ability. Okay, that freezing ability is really good. Oh, I need to move a little bit here. Ooh, Santa water. This one, this ability is really good. Basically just drops like a pool of holy water around me. Yeah, and it burns everything. It's very good. Oh, I took a little damage there from a ghost. Yeah, that whole big pile of enemies behind me is kind of worrisome. The garlic is the garlic breath is starting to be a little less effective now. Freeze is actually really good. Does that do it? I don't... I, does that just freeze? Weapons fire more projectiles. This is something new I haven't gotten before. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah! I just straight up fire more daggers. Dude, that's pretty good. Oh, it affects the holy water too, and my and my Bibles. Ooh, look at it! Look at this. I'm actually trapped here now, so I gotta basically brawl with everything that's in this circle for a while until the flowers all die. So we just we'll just keep circling around. It'll be fine. Yes, burn, burn, baby, burn. Look at all those levels I'm getting. There you go. It's it's like a little survival area. It, it's killed me a few times, but if you just keep circling around, you'll be fine. Fire another projectile. Ooh, being able to pick up orbs in a greater area is really is surprisingly effective. Uh, turkey for some more health. Another turkey for some more health. So as you as you fight and, and uh, unlock stuff, you know, I th I think you you just unlock stuff by you know getting further, killing more enemies. It's it's a pretty simple progression system, but it, but it but the upgrade system is very complicated, and I like that. Okay, yeah, I need more garlic breath here pretty soon. I, I might need more move speed next too. Yeah, these uh, these green. Really not sure what they are. These green enemies. I, I, I'm afraid I don't really know what to call them. They're very very tanky. What level am I? I'm level twelve. So we're doing really really good here. I think the Mantis is another one of those enemies where if you kill it, it's got a chance to drop, like, really good things. Oh, we're back to bats. Good. The bats are pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, level up, baby! The waves of bats, not even a problem. Not for my tremendous garlic breath. Gotta keep moving. Um, cooldown reduced by one, base damage up by one. Yes, please. 
Garlic breath go hard. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. Good freezes. Good freezes all around. Yeah, the, the bats are pretty much cannon fodder, as best as I can tell. Should do a run where I just like just don't move. So the best strategy that I have found for this game is basically go from lantern to lantern. Uh, go from lantern to lantern, get the upgrades that are there. Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes they're straight up just power ups. Uh, the health is very nice. Wouldn't mind another garlic upgrade now that I think about it. Yeah, another chest. Come on, big money. Oh, hey, it's the another freezy upgrade. Uh, let's see what this one does. Uh, reduce my cooldown by 0.5 seconds. You wouldn't think 0.5 seconds is significant, but oh my goodness gracious, it is. Um, yeah, let's fire, let's keep firing knife. Oop. Yeah, look at all that death. That's good stuff. I see another one of those super bats back there. Oh, that bat back there. So these big vampire bats are actually no joke. They're kind of annoying to fight. I don't kill very many of them. They're just very tanky. They're very tanky boys. I think I need more base damage to, like, handle them. Oh. That was kind of close. Yeah, I'm just not in, like, a... Like, I don't get why they're so tanky. I don't know if this is where, like, the strategy of the game starts kicking in or what the deal is, but... I need... I'm not doing a very good job of trying to level up here. I need to... Oh. I accidentally clicked and... Oh, shit. Well, I guess I'm just kind of stuck in here for the time being. Oh, I'm taking way too much unnecessary damage. made it out. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on. Die, 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 die. Okay, nope, they're not. They're just straight up not dying. And I need to find another... I need to find some food. Oh, double torches. I assume those are torches. And a little bit of food. Being very nice. Try and murder this guy here. How much damage can one dude take? Oh, the skeleton portion. Okay, this is actually kind of hard. This is where the garlic breath really starts to starts to shine. Look at all these enemies. Um, yeah, more duplication. Ha ha ha! Look at this. Zu waves of super skeletons basically trivialized because my breath stinks. Oh, we're leveling up real fast now. Uh, sure. More daggers. We ain't firing daggers, we ain't doing our job. How does that sound? Use like some XP boost. I, I have a theory that some characters can unlock things that 
other characters, or have access to power-ups that other characters don't. Um, reduce incoming damage by one. Yeah, let's get some armor going here. Werewolves! I have not gotten this far yet before. Werewolves are new to me. And now ghosts. Oh, nope, the ghosts are new. We've fought the ghosts before. Nope, I can't, I can't, like, afford to stop moving. Oh, I think I did kill something over there. One of the super enemies or whatever. Apparently I did. Get it! Ooh, I'm gonna get three upgrades! Come on, garlic breath, garlic breath. Oh, um, that's two more base damage. And another, uh, another Holy Bible to chuck at the enemy. I'll fire one more projectile with the Holy Bible. I will do 10% more base damage. And then another 10% base damage. Now I should be a reasonable threat again. Uh, base speed, or another projectile. Yeah, I like, oh, look at that. Wow! That is an awesome ability. Ooh, what's this do? I wasn't able to grab it. Um, sure, more boomerang. Oh, good lord. Uh, more garlic. I must have grabbed an ability magnet, or a gem magnet. Oh, what the hell? More move speed! We're leveling up really fast now. I like that. I was complaining that I wasn't upgrading, and now I just got, like, all the upgrades. This must be, like, the new... I don't know if it's floors or areas or whatever. This is the furthest I've made it, so I... I wonder if they refer to this as like an area or... I wonder how that works. This is definitely like a whole new, a whole new type of enemy. We're back to the vampire bats again. Yeah, I think between the garlic breath and that whole Bible and the, uh, the holy Bible thing, we're a monster. We're just an absolute monster. There we go, that's why I need to fight my way towards. Oh, I just froze everything. Give me a chance to kind of be whale on something. Whale on this guy for a bit. Come on, die. Uh oh. Surrounded. Ha 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 ha! Oh, wow! That was a hell of an ability. Damn! I see something up there. Oh, um, the more freezy, more better, right? Oh, more chests. I need to, I need to get all these chests fast. What is it with this freezy ability? Effect lasts a little longer. Okay, that's that's awesome. Uh, sure, more knife. Okay, now I actually need to get the hell out of here. Oh man, I'm dead. I'm dead. But I lasted a long time. Wow. Oh, I got a two unlocks. Reached level 20 in the Mad Forest. Survive five minutes with... Okay, reach 20 in the Mad Forest. Is that a, a new area to play in? Hmm. 
level 20, unlock inlaid library. Interesting. How does the library work? Well, let's power up here a little bit. I got 900 big ones to spend. Mm -hmm. Ooh, more move speed, more gooder. More luck, okay. Ooh. Armor good, but not enough money. But more money. More money, more better. Well, I do believe this is a very good spot to stop. Uh, thank you all for your support on the on the channel and your continued uh, your continued support. I, I really appreciate it. Um, we will figure out the Minecraft thing eventually, but for the time being, uh, we'll play some indie games and we'll have a good, ourselves a good time. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.